In Canada, every province has its own regulation for non-resident hunters. In Saskatchewan here, for a Canadian resident living outside of the province to hunt white-tailed deer, they need to draw a tag. Our good friend James Place from Alberta has been on the losing end of that luck for nearly a decade, until this year, but we were ready to make James's long-awaited chance at his very first Saskatchewan whitetail count. We've been watching some of the bucks on this plot here all summer long. We brought the stealth cam down to put some more monster meal out here. Now that we're getting closer to the season, we've got five weeks before it opens. Instead of watching the plot, we're gonna start watching right where the stand is, but we're not making any changes. And there's a couple bucks here we really want to have a look at. We've been hoping the tall tine buck would stick to the plot all summer in hopes of James hunting him in the fall. And as summer carried on, he did just that and grew each week. Now we just had to wait until October when James would be out. This is the stand we wanted to hunt. We haven't been able to get in here the last couple nights. And uh, James only has a few days to hunt, but we can get in here tonight. With a bit of a slow start, we spot our first deer for the afternoon. A lone doe across the plot, looking quite nervous. Increasingly nervous, the doe turns and leaves the plot. The plot usually full of deer and thinking all is lost. We hear footsteps. With limited time to hunt and a tough to draw tag in his pocket, by a stroke of luck, James's buck was on the scene. Nervous like the doe before him, the buck turns to walk away. However, when he starts to leave, I know we only have one chance, one option, to get him to turn for a shot. when he jumps over the fence we'll be able to see uh any blood or anything yeah where the arrow came out on him anyway so well, we just snuck out here to grab the arrow it's pretty easy to see is there blood on it or there is and it's dark i know what fence post here he uh jumped between so i'm just gonna take a quick peek for blood because especially this spot it's full of coyotes are howling probably have to leave this deer overnight um and we still didn't see where that arrow came out and uh I'm not even gonna tell James yet. He has the horseshoe of horseshoes because 30 yards right behind me, I can see the deer's belly and its antler. He may be the luckiest hunter in the world. Hey, am I being too loud? Not really. I'm not even joking when the deer is right there. No. He's, I can see his belly right there. He's th not even 30 yards. This is where he jumped. Triple, yeah. So I grabbed the light and I was going to look here. I walked up, I looked right over. Holy moly, James. What a good deer deed. That's a beauty. I can see the pot right behind you. What a gorgeous deer, bud. Man, my stomach was just flipping, Dino. Not no more, buddy. That is a fantastic deer. James hasn't drawn a tag to hunt in Saskatchewan in years and years and years. <laughs> <laughs> he was turned to leave down the edge and I decided to stop him. He'd run or get a shot. The shot was way far back. But you can see right there, it came out actually not too bad. Congratulations again, bud. Uh, Thanks, you, you earned that one. 